Hey guys, it's Icing here. We're back with more Splunky. We're gonna jump right into it using some gold man because he's kind of my good luck charm now. Um, I think both of my hell runs have been with gold man. Wait, no, one was with a pink Eskimo. It's funny because I have yet to actually get a recorded hell run. Well, I guess like sit down on my own time, do a recording. Both of my hell runs, well, both runs where I've beaten hell have been on stream. Which I mean, one of them I exported to YouTube. If you haven't seen that one, you should go see it, you scum. But, um, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad there was gold in that pot. I really, really needed that arrow trap triggered. So that worked out for us. Let's see. So basically, we're just going to try to have a good run. Um, get to hell. I will be happy if I at least get through uh, the ice caves. I've been having like some serious Splunk Foo blockages lately. I did not mean to come down here. Oh, it works out. Cool. For a second, I thought I was going to have to burn a rope. Like, as soon as I talk about my terrible Splunk food blockages, I screw up, but I'm all right. I'm all right. So, nine, 94,000 or 9,400. Um, not bad. Not bad for a first floor. And, hmm. I want to get that rock, but I can't. I personally think that the rat should set off the air trap if he's moving around like that. But he doesn't, so we'll just have to deal with it. Spider, go ahead and take the arrow down with us. We're looking pretty good. Ooh, Ujet Eye is on this floor. That's fantastic news. There is a bomb box. Um, yeah, we'll definitely be taking that bomb box. There we go. That was a bit of uh, some shenanigans there. I have a bad feeling about... Oop, 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 oop. We're going to be doing this mainly just uh, to see if there happens to be the key over here. And also because, you know, I want to get the paste. Especially since we have all those extra bombs. No key. Uh, I don't think the key is going to be up there since there's an altar. But I'm going to take a peek up here anyway. Nope, no key. I just really want to find that key. Okay, cool. There it is. And we can get in there. Excellent, we can get in there without having to um, use any resources. Still a bomb well spent. I uh, am happy to spend that bomb for the peace of mind. Toss her over there. And let's go get our key. New Jedi on the second floor always makes me happy. Because it means if we get a snake pit level later on, we'll be able to very well utilize that snake pit. As opposed to just kind of grasping at straws. There's the Ujet Eye. Hey, we had an opportunity to just leave the Ujet Eye behind if we were Ding Dongs. Last I checked, I am no Ding nor Dong. Okay. Let's move on through. And not a Snake Pit level. I was really hoping. We do get the funky music level, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I've been told that that's just a completely random occurrence. It has no real bearing on anything. So... You know, there goes all my hopes and dreams. We're not going to get that maiden. That just isn't happening. Um, it's a fair deal of bombs and paste. I'm going to go for it. Got to start killing shopkeepers sooner or later, right? Uh, I actually really want that. I have enough bombs to get through there. Okay, cool. And I just have to be careful of this last bomb setting off that arrow trap. So we're gonna go ahead and use the rope here, make life easy. This should set off the arrow trap. It didn't. That should set off the arrow trap that, wow, we have to use a lot of ropes here because we're scum. Okay, cool, we got some bombs back. That ended up basically just costing us a lot of bombs for a little bit of extra money. In hindsight, that was in no way worth it. But it's cool. We got a good amount of bombs. One rope. We just have to be real careful about uh, the black market not go down until we're sure we haven't that it's not above us. Um, I would love to go back up there and explore more. I'd love to get that vault, but I'm not using my last rope to do so. So now we have one more level of the caves. Oh, sorry, the mines. I always call them the caves. And, of course, it's a dark level. Why <laughs> wouldn't it be a dark level? It couldn't not be a dark level. 
that would be wrong. Okay, so normally I don't mind dark levels in the mines. I do once I fist off shopkeepers. It just makes things really scary. I uh, know I may be really excited to see this altar, but I probably will not be coming back up, to be quite honest. So we're going to drop this down here, grab that firefly. So, I mean, it is a dark level. We're going to take as much advantage of it as possible. Actually, we are going back up with this maiden. Maybe. Um, we're going to use our last rope, which scares me. Hopefully this will pay out. Well, okay. Hey, we finally get to see the effects of glasses in a dark level. It actually is pretty much as bright as holding the torch at all times. Which is nice. It means we don't actually need to bring the torch around with us if we don't want to. Now, I want to for the extra money, but if it becomes troublesome, we don't have to. I like that. It makes me a happy camper. So glasses are actually well worth it, especially if you like, you know, are in a dark level. I would buy glasses. Or steel glasses, at the least. Okay, so this is kind of a tricky situation. There we go. I almost jumped to get that uh, scarab there. And I feel like there's probably a shop coming up. Um, which, obviously, I'm both excited for and terrified of. Uh, no shop, actually. What we got down here? We have a shopkeeper. I think we're just gonna pop through and run. Don't feel like dealing with him, especially not in a dark level. Cool. Let's move on. We are look. We're in a really good situation in most ways. We have a lot of life. We have one sacrifice to Kali. Uh, the negative of this, of course, is we have no ropes. So we have to be really, really careful about uh any kind of downward movement that we can't rectify. So I will be using some unnecessary bombs just to check out the area, make 100% sure I don't miss the uh, black market. Because that would be terrible. I have no idea how that actually managed to hit me. It's not often I call shenanigans on the game, but I think it needs to be called here. I'm fairly certain the black market isn't over here, but I want to check just in case. There we go. Plus, I mean, hey, a little extra money never hurt anybody. Especially not a splunker of our fame and fortune. Uh, that is accessible from below. Probably. Oh. That was some dumb... We've taken two bits of dumb damage. One dumb on our part. One dumb on the game's part. Like, we should not have taken that up. Okay, so... Looks like the shopkeep is over here. He's most likely dead at this point. Yep, he's dead. We'll drop our shotgun. So we definitely do want our maiden. And I cannot believe I just did that. Wow, that was bad. I've had a lot of runs ending in real dumb ways like that. Which is something we need to just break out of our Splunk Funk. We have a... Uh, our Splunk Funk is too strong. We need to break out of it. And start getting back into the real Splunk world. Okay, so... We're gonna chill out a little bit. As I take damage from bats. Make this happen. Let's have a good run. I believe in this run. I believe in me. I believe in America. Pitcher's Mint. I'm so okay with that item. I'm really starting to love the Pitcher's Mint. It's just... So nice for being able to guarantee where your bombs are going and very easily know, as opposed to kind of having like this like half guessing game. Okay, so this is gonna take us a rope to get out of. Still okay with, ooh. Oh, I thought I could bounce out of that. I got super excited with that opportunity. Not that the waste of rope. But, you know, easy come, easy go. Easy come, easy go. Wow, I always forget that the bomb touching it blows it up. Ah, that was on me. That was on me, not on the game. Let's, uh... Go ahead and take care of that. Thinking back to our first run, we probably should have blown up that tiki trap. It was a precarious tiki trap that we had to traverse a couple times. It really should have... We really should have used a bomb. Especially considering how many we had. 
when you have that many bombs before the black market, it's kind of dumb not to do it. Okay. Let's just take care of this bat. We didn't want to do that last run anyway. We had dumb damage already. So yeah, I was... I died there on purpose. Just wanted to run reset. We're gonna go with that, guys. That's, uh... That's the official answer on what happened last run. Okay. So we're starting to feel it up again. That was a really awkward way to phrase that. Um... <laughs> Okay, that was a good floor. Actually, a lot better than the, the first floor or the first run. A lot more money. Well, not a lot. Like, Okay, and now we have a dark level. But at least we aren't... Uh, we haven't already pissed off shopkeepers. So, this is a dark level that I can get behind. This is a dark level that's nothing but profit. Um, I can almost guarantee we won't get the... We're not going to get the maid in this floor. It would be dumb to do so. We are going to check over here because there's almost always gems. It would be dumb to do so because we're going to have to micromanage the maiden and the uh, torch. I just really don't want to do that. We'll get a lot more benefit out of just carrying the torch, getting the extra money. Ooh, that's close. That I cannot access from below because of the shop. Uh, then we'll probably kill that shopkeeper. He has so many bombs. Ooh, really glad I came over here. Bombs and ropes. He has so many bombs, it would be foolish not to kill him and take his things for our own. It'll cost us one life, but that's fine. Okay, so... I do want to make this jump. Cool. Extra ruby... We could easily pay for the stuff in here, but I just feel foolish doing so. This might not work. It didn't. Oh, he picked up the gun. I thought we were playing a friendly game of hopscotch. You know what, guys? We're going to end it there. Three absolutely terrible runs. I am going to do my damnedest to have a better run for you tomorrow, and I'm going to end the episode the way I always do, by dropping my controller. Well, any support you can give the video is great. Liking and commenting is fantastic. And if you're new around here, why don't you hit that subscribe button? As always, guys, have a great day.